The Hierarchy of Controls. The level of risk associated with an event can be established by assessing the chance of the event happening, likelihood, and the potential harm or damage the event could cause, consequences. Plan and implement controls to eliminate or reduce risks before you proceed with your task. Some types of controls are more effective than others. Use the hierarchy of controls to choose the best method. Eliminating the hazard. Physically removing it is the most effective hazard control. Substitution. The second most effective hazard control involves replacing something that produces a hazard, similar to elimination, with something that does not produce a hazard. The third most effective means of controlling hazards is engineered controls. These do not eliminate hazards, but rather isolate people from hazards. Administrative controls are changes to the way people work. Examples of administrative controls include procedure changes, employment training, and installation of signs and warning labels, such as those in the hazardous chemical information system. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE, is the last line of defence. It acts as a barrier to limit your exposure to hazards. PPE must be used to supplement higher levels of control. As you go about your work, continue to monitor the effectiveness of those controls and look for any changes to the task or work area. For more safety and training solutions, visit pertrain.com.au.